Let's 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 talk about this for a second. Let's uh let's not vent oxygen into space. Let's instead uh it's cold oxygen. It's nice and cold oxygen. Let's take it and redirect it down and attach it here. So that way it's now part of this system that's gonna go all the way through and it's gonna get stored in here. So that will buy us a whole lot of time by storing it in here. Uh, oh, I forgot to actually snip this here. So that way we could bypass some of this. So we'll just do this. Snip, snip. There we go. That way we have just an insane amount of oxygen sitting in reservoirs and all that stuff. Well, we're, while still maintaining uh, enough flow for this. Actually, where is this going? Wait, is that the... Uh, oh, wow. We actually... We're, we're definitely done. Oh, shit, son. Okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I should make sticky notes for these things, guys. Uh, all right, so now we're pumping lots of oxygen into into what? Into into the space that we don't want oxygen. That's eventually going to trigger this and open it up into space. So it's all getting vented out into space, anyways. Wait. Space exposure. Okay, so it is getting sucked out. Okay, good. It's getting sucked out. Um, so yeah, we are throwing away oxygen on accident, but just a tiny little bit. Uh, we still have tons of oxygen in this space. Oh, actually, it's perfect right now. Oh, uh, yeah, 1700, 1800. Good. So the vents are going to start working soon, but it's still not quite enough. Fucking hey, this thing's a mess. Comes over here. Definitely. Okay, it goes through that. Yeah, I think we should attach to this system over here and let it just go down. What does this come from? This is, uh, oh, natural gas, carbon dioxide. Okay. So let's go ahead and bust out the, this. And then we will bypass, how do I want to do it? Let's try to think of the best place to do it. I guess I could do it down here, which would be kind of a bitch. You're right, it does not. We have used up so much of our hydrogen. Let's go ahead and stop this. Shit. Oh, man. We built all these things and didn't really plan ahead. We didn't make a foolproof, that's for sure. <clears throat> Which means we're going to have a shortage of hydrogen. And these, yeah, we're going to have fucking damage coming through here. Fuck, 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 fuck. Let's... All these things are linked. So let us just... Snip these things here. And then what we're going to do is, this is just to prevent any more damage. Because granted, it's not expensive to fix, but it's going to add up. And then what we'll do is we'll put a vent here. And then we're going to grab another vent. and Or another uh, line. And we're going to run this it's insulated. So we'll go from this oxygen line over here. We'll bypass that one. Or go around it, rather. And then we will jump that. Go down. Yeah, go down here. We'll jump that. Come over here. We can, this is a mess right here, so let's see if we can snip snip it into something that makes sense. Oh, actually, no, we can jump that, and then right here we'll snip. Oops. Right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and do... Good. And then we can go to this, and then we'll put one vent bridge bridge here. Uh, yeah, then also over here. Okay. All right, so that puts a that puts a stop on on that issue, but we're we're gonna start running into problems because I don't think those three natural gas generators is gonna be enough to support the entire thing. Thankfully, we're not like starved for power right this second. We still have lots and lots of natural gas now stored. Despite the mainly because I think we uh, we relieved the amount of um, stress we're putting on that system by not using six natural gas generators. <clears throat> think of how well it worked while it worked. <laughs> that's 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 keeping a positive. I like that. That's good. So yeah, what I want to do is I'm gonna cycle this all back in. So we're just gonna cycle all this stuff out of the system and cycle all back in. This is the hydrogen system. The oxygen system will continue just to operate as is. Uh, this hydrogen goes up and it goes into... It's probably gonna get jammed up there, I think. Oh, it goes into this vent. Okay. Uh, you know what? This should actually be different as well. This should just go up 
and in here. And then we just snip that. I just get rid of all that. Yeah, because it's, I mean, it's not a lot of hydrogen that it has to pull out of here. It only turns on periodically. Mm, we'll leave all that alone, actually. Just in case. Because getting back there is going to be a pain in the dick. But this stuff we can get rid of. So we'll get rid of this. And then uh, we'll leave that. Get rid of that. That. Okay, so what's this going to do? This is going to take all this oxygen that's backing up here that's causing a backlog of issues elsewhere, and it's going to dump it all down into this feed that goes all the way around this entire area and then drops it back into some reservoirs that are not full and the rest get used in the O2 thing. So if it doesn't, if it doesn't fit in the base, it gets fit into the suits. The hydrogen is the next thing. We're not generating a ton of hydrogen from these electrolyzers because of what? No power? Is that what it said? No power. What's failing you here? These things should be turning those things off and on. Oh, they are. Okay, I guess there's just a, a moment in where like, these things run out and then they uh, trigger these things. I wonder if I should make this a low threshold of five. That way there's at least a, a bit of a, a buffer here. Where it's not going to just kick off the, uh, all of these, actually. So let me see. Because there's a, there's a brief pause where it's, damn it. Oh, it didn't even copy there. What the hell? Copy settings. Good. Settings applied. And do these batteries, too. And these batteries, as well. Great. That way we don't have that little pause there. So now we have lots of oxygen coming in. <laughs> So we're going to have pipe block issues, for sure. Although, it's, at least it's just oxygen, so it should melt pretty well. Um, send a... If above... Like... 10? <laughs> there you go. Just keep that thing on. We'll create a vacuum in there. That, that, that way, there's no... There's no issue with this electrolyzer... Um, running into overpressurization is issues. Deconstruct that. How's this doing? This tube is done. Our tubes are, are basically, yeah, they're done. Great. Oh, yeah, this room. <laughs> There's so many things to keep track of. Okay, I think we got our picture. Let's go ahead and stop that now that we remembered. Game. Okay, so temperature over here is negative 14 degrees. So that tiny little trickle is too much. It's too much. It's got plenty of hydrogen. It's this trickle of, uh, of water that's just taking it out. So, let's do less and see. I know we could do the standard, we could do standard pipes, but let's just do less and just see uh, if we could save this. Let's do 100. Really slow it down. It's gonna look at this backlog. Oh my god. I th thankfully, I think we have a, uh, do we have an overflow protection on this? Oh, we don't actually. I had one. Well, as long as everything is getting water, I don't think we necessarily have to worry about this line getting backed up. I don't think it's going to do anything. Except get really hot. <laughs> Which is also fine. This is so dumb. Let's... Uh, let's make this a little better. Let's see. How do I want to do it? Let's have this go over. Then we will go... Yeah, that's something to start, I guess. And then we could see, get rid of this, deconstruct. And then we'll let it... We'll let them finish that and we'll come back. We'll see that for sure. It'll be an obvious square. This cascade of failures has started. No! Not yet. We're still trickling water to everything. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not hurting. Coal. Yeah, I'll take more coal. 41 tons. <laughs> Future Mike starting to regret. <laughs> Future Mike's gonna be so mad. How's this doing? Negative 25. Oh, yeah, I didn't keep track of what it was. It was negative 14 or something, right? So, yes, so the, the 100, ne the 100 grams per second, which is a tiny little drop, is actually keeping it, allowing it to, uh, to warm up. And it's coming out at negative 25 degrees. Holy shit. But, uh, yeah, look at that. It warms up before it leaves. <laughs> so... 
New, new problem to solve. There. <laughs> it's actually warming up before it, before it comes back. That's great. Well, good. Well, this is one less thing to uh, to keep this biome, you know, warm. We'll insulate it all the way around. You were cooling the room. You you know what? This is true. Oh man, but do I uh, do I care about cooling this room when I have dupes that want cold water for various reasons? Yeah, we'll just do this. It's fine. We'll just do this, bypass this whole thing. Oh man. Although, wait, how much is it? Where is it at? Okay, it's at, hold on, it's at 20 degrees. We'll let it keep going. We've clearly found somewhere between a, a hundred and was it 500 or 250? I think it was 250. Somewhere between a hundred and like 250. Damn, what was it before? Can't remember, but um, somewhere around there is the middle ground. That thing's not running. Shit. Why is it not running? Because this does not have water. It has water. Because it's able automation grid. What does automation grid tell it? Uh, oh, it tells... Oh, wait. What is that hooked up to? Is that hooked up to the, the... Oh, my God. I thought it was hooked up to the fucking vent. Not this. Ugh. Why did I do that? Blow it up. Boom, baby. Who's that? <laughs> you done gone to space yet? No, I ain't gone to space yet. Man, we're working on it. It takes time. Mop this shit up, too. <sighs> Thank you, Dominius. Uh, by the way, for 29 months. Is appreciated. God, clean this mess. Clean all this fucking mess. Oh, don't clean that mess though. Oh, wait, hold on. No vapor lock. No, 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 no. There's a, there's a nice little water lock there, so don't touch that. <laughs> we'll keep that going. Ooh, look at this. Look at this sexy. Yeah. Put all that up. Somehow this thing continues just to run. It is getting hotter though. Look at 199 degrees. I guess at some point we could probably turn it off. Cool it down. Um... We keep feeding it, though. We have a nice, steady supply of uh, a petroleum going in here. We have a bunch of reservoirs full of natural gas. We're not even using. Uh, we have some nastiness in here, polluted oxygen. Okay, here we go. Hydrogen's coming out now. So this is actually now going to run non-stop. I think this, this is a better build, period. Like, this is going to run non-stop um, because as, for as long as we can keep pumping oxygen out of here. Uh, it might reach the upper limit where it's going to and reach max gas pressure, but judging by the gaps that we see here, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Look at this. This is a perfect, yeah, perfect amount of gaps here. So we have a couple of different areas where we're getting hydrogen from. Uh, we have this basically just spewing out the... Oh, they all, they don't even go down here, huh? How funny. Oh man, I'm... Anyways, uh... The power, liquid, gas... Why is this not exiting? This goes... in here. Oh, it's always because it must be a backup here. So, let's tell this thing when it senses... What does it sense right now? Inactive. Oh, what's in the pipe? Hydrogen. So let's change it to some, uh, some hydrogen. There we go. Oxygen. There, that probably cleared it up. No, it's gonna run into a problem. Oh, because of this. Oh, it's a bitch. Gianna! Oh shit! What up? I feel like it's been a while. More than uh, more than a month though, at least. Gianna, thank you so much for eight months. Uh, you should screenshot your base layouts at the end of each playthrough so you see how batchy crazy things get in this game with those high cycles. So yeah, Halesis, what I've what I've been doing is uh, I've been saving. I've, so there's two things I've been doing. Every 100 cycles, I will save it. This is a problem I have to fix in a second, by the way. Um, every 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 100 cycles, I'll save uh, so that way I have um, 
you know, so that way, that way I have like a, a bookmark. And I do that because for like the thumbnails for the show uh, that's up on YouTube, uh, which should be up on you. I don't even have notifications for comments or something. So maybe something's up. Uh, at the very least, I get the bacon comments. But uh, let me fix this real quick while I'm talking. The the other thing I do is every hundred cycles I, tr- I crank up. It takes a, it takes, takes an automated screenshot and it saves it to you, you know to, as a PNG file on your hard drive. Um, but I use that. I crank it up so that way it will, you know. So so I'll take like a big ass screenshot and then I will. Uh, uh, turn it back down so it's like a huge screenshot like you could zoom in this far on the screenshot it's crazy all right so let's do this and then we'll wrap it back around into itself i think this will work and then we'll snip this that'll force it down there i think there are nines okay they'll get done there we go now we're clearing things out and it'll keep going, too, because it keeps sensing the thing that it's looking for. <laughs> then it gets polluted oxygen. It's like, what do I do? I should I should always have... I removed it, but I should always have those sand traps uh, just available, just to clean air. Because there's always going to be some little pocket of dirty air somewhere. Polluted oxygen like that, yeah. Let me go ahead and put one down. It doesn't cost hardly anything to run. Ventilation? Mm, no, it's oxygen. Deodorizer, that's what it's called. Let's do like one there, maybe one over here. Let me keep it clean. Why is how did you go through the O2 line? Because the sensor cuts backed up, so once the sensor once it gets backed up, the sensor starts misfiring. But it's one of the reasons why I like to use the regular valves instead of the sensor system. The sensor system's nice, but it only works when the valves are free flowing. Or when the uh the lines are free flowing. Oh dang it. Results from Oh, that's the, uh, the log entry from- or we read it already. Food has decayed! Oh, wow! Oh, raw egg, that's fine. That's fine, I don't need to- I don't necessarily need to see it, but okay. So, raw egg, yeah, that's, that's fine. Are they all really bunched up right here? How many are here? How many are there? Seventeen. There are seventeen fish in this one tile. They are happy. Some of them are hungry. Are they stuck? Stuck? How do I get them to unstuck? They look angry though. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the auto sweeper. They're they're laying down tons of eggs. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave them to their devices. I'm not gonna mess with them. Uh, I see eggs. Well, we think of a whole bunch of these eggs here. I see five. Let's go make five of those. And then eight. Let's go make eight of those. There we go. This should be giving me something soon. Yeah, very soon. We have sucked this place dry. There is... Another eruption coming, but we have some chlorine that's coming up, and I don't want to get that mixed in the line, so let's go ahead and turn this off. Turn off. Oh, man. How's this room doing? Negative 30 degrees. Oh, my God. I think we've pretty much e reached equilibrium with 100. With 100 throughput on this line. 100 grams per second. Have a nice stream. I can't stay because I'm following Auction Clear on your YouTube channel. Well, thanks for hanging out. A little bit of spoilers. <laughs> Lots of ha has happened. So, yes. Thank you so much for the support, though, John. I appreciate it. I know it's been a while, but I appreciate it nonetheless. They look like piranhas. Drop a dupe in there on the other side of the pool. The dupes go in there. It would be great if they actually did have some kind of, like, attack mechanism. Just a bunch of dupes just, like, getting attacked as they walk in there. Pipe block. Pipe it's oxygen. It's fine. Good. So trickle in of, of hydrogen there. Natural gas abundant. Switch is inactive. Uh, the battery's dead there. Those batteries are not. Okay, what's what's my next what's my next project? Probably getting some of this water out of here and into here, but uh a little surprised at actually how we can I cut this? Can they reach that? Yes they can. Good. We'll cut this out and we'll just see where this water settles. Attack Paku. Oh, it is! Haha! <laughs> of course! Of 
A playthrough, you have to take a dupe each print. I think I've done that before, actually. There's just no way. There's just no way. The, the cycles happen so fast. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I just don't think there's a way. Uh, dormant. This is going to happen again. 18 cycles. It's going to happen again in 20 cycles. Wow. So this is the only water supply I have, which is plenty um, for 20 cycles. Maybe now is a good time to turn this on and let it start dumping liquid into here. Because we're not really getting... Yeah. We're cleaning liquid. We have lots of liquid in the lines. I wonder if we should just just start taking polluted water and see if we can't just get it all clean real quick. Hmm. Hold on. Trekla egg. Cool. <clears throat> There's also a sulfur bath so you can dispose of dead dupes with a bath of acid. No one says that the dupes you make have uh, the each print have to be alive for long. <laughs> Speaking of, actually, there is a mod that will uh, make it so your dupes have a, a lifetime, actually, like like an actual like lifetime how long they live for. I want to do this, and then I do this. And then maybe this. So that way I can go almost straight across with this. That goal of transferring heat is show is. Maybe we should also, because now that they're dormant, this is dormant, right? It erupts in 90 seconds. So it's dormancy in eight cycles. Okay. Well, we can still get this out of the way. And we get that chlorine out, it'll mix with everything else, but it's fine. Oni Sims. <laughs> uh, what Lord 9 Plus? Oh man, I forgot all about that. That's right, we did have that time where we were just cranking out <clears throat> Lore 1, Lore 2, or whatever it was. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Those good times. Not for uh for the dupes we kept killing, but it's, but you know, it's good times for everyone else involved. <laughs> yeah, so we if we build this little scoop here kind of cut the balls, we can just straight across with pipe and make this a little less jank. And then we can go straight across, straight, straight across, and go up. Try to get rid of this um, this here. Shizzle, yeah, five hizzle, six hizzle. <laughs> that was, that's right, we did do that. Oh, you know what? This room is packed. Like, it is packed. Look at this pressure. So it, it is, it has plenty of hydrogen in this room, uh, probably more so than we necessarily need, but this is good because if it ends up cooling all this hydrogen, it's a lot, then uh, it'll take a lot longer for it to, you know, for it to lose that heat. But mind game. Back when Deuce used to get, oh yeah, sorry, I read that part. <laughs> what was that, soil green? I, I, I wonder if that's a thing too, actually. Negative 30. I wanted to get lower than that, but I think that's probably the best we could do. But hey, look at that. We're actually turning this area green. 26 degrees, guys. Pretty exciting. I think we could probably go ahead and kick on this system to cool some more. Like, cool it from the bottom? Hmm. What is this oxygen is at? 37 degrees. Comes out at 37 degrees. Comes in here at... 90 degrees, and here it's... So it's actually warming up a little bit. I wonder if I should insulate this line. And then let it just... Let, let, let this loop basically do all the work. 52 degrees is plenty cold. Yeah, let's do that. That way it gives us uh, more of an opportunity to uh, to cool this area. I don't... I know we're not gonna ever reach... Oh, they can't reach that anyways. Um, the point where we get this room back to its former glory. Like, I know that's not going to happen. Like, we're not going to turn it back into an ice biome. Did they actually reach that? Oh, is it one, two, three, four? Oh, yeah, it is four. Uh, I can reach this. I can. Okay, cool. Just barely, though. Wow. Uh, but if I could get this room with all this hydrogen to get, like, ice cold, then, yeah, we could totally use this space for something. To cool something. The same way we're doing with AATN, if we get a whole room that's this cold, it'd be great. But it's gonna take time. 
They built it. Let's deconstruct this. Thank you, David Devil. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this. Thank you, whoever that was, David Devil again. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this. <laughs> Great. And maybe this one as well. And then all of these. And then the rest we will adjust as needed. So we're gonna do this, basically. We'll probably straighten out the rest too. Like maybe we could go straight across and then go up into this. It's not a bad idea. Um <clears throat> But they use this ladder system to get to, into the room. <sighs> this is such a shit setup. <laughs> it's so shit. I mean, this I can get rid of, it's fine, but... Well, let's let them stew on this for a second. We need to fix this ladder, because they're not going to be able to figure out how to get around this. Some ladder broken here, too. So this will go here. Could go up here. Oh, unreachable build. Oh, yeah, hmm. I guess I gotta go up and over this setup. I don't need these reservoirs here either, though. These reservoirs haven't really done anything to add to my configuration. We're not getting a whole lot of hydrogen here. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and just bypass this altogether. Wait till it comes back. So first, let's go ahead and deconstruct these guys. Get those resources back. <clears throat> Then we also can see what we're doing. This is not going to work. This setup is not going to work here. But we could f find another way for sure. We go just a couple of squares over, actually. Let me go here. And go up. And then we'll bypass that. And go up into this setup. So here, we'll deconstruct this. Deconstruct this. And then they can reach this still. Yes, they can. Good. Get rid of those. Oh, shit. No, stop. <laughs> that was like everything. Uh, just buildings. Buildings, buildings. There you go. Uh, the only thing you're doing with the whole room cooling is maybe some cold storage. The ATN can remove 80, but so use more heat and won't work. Small room or big room. No, it's true, but if we get it dense enough, then yeah, we could cool a lot of stuff over time. But yeah, we'll have to monitor it for sure. Uh, but if we can get it to a good starting point where it's like negative, whatever, let's say negative 100 degrees in that entire room, which is like not going to happen. Um, then we, we, maybe we could look at that as like, okay, now let's start stocking it with Wheeze warts and other ways of, of maintaining that and adding to the AETN. The AETN is just basically a passive way that's very cheap to just just slowly cool the room and then once it gets down to a certain temperature then it's like okay now let's figure out how we can keep it here not just necessarily dump a bunch of hot shit in there and just let it you know cook we'll do it we'll do it right yeah they're using the pipe right now so I don't want to necessarily do that I guess they can't connect like this huh can they reach this up here it doesn't look like it this whole thing is jank. Is this not connected? That is. This one not connected. Yeah, I would have a red line if it does not was not connected. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's make that like a nine. I know they can't reach this. this is, whoops. Overload damage. Oh shit, we actually have overload damage. Okay, why? Uh, damage overloading. Just barely over. What did we add that's doing it? So oh, it's a tube. Um, That's off. That's not on. What is running down here? This is on, but it's not. Oh, it is running, actually. This will save us a little bit of power. Let's go ahead and turn that off. What else is running that we don't need? The, well, we need that. <laughs> this is all running, too. And that. Hopefully that... We only needed one, just the tiniest little bit. Way to make liquid O2 for thrusters. Oh, yeah. Cycle 2000. Yes. Turn that off. There. That'll stop the overloading. Okay. They can't reach any of that. 
So let's see. Oh, he just shot out right here. That's great. So we'll put a couple of ladders just down here. So they can work. One of those nines. Everything's nine right now. Let me see his buildings. Good. That should work, man. Of course, these are not. <laughs> Get that. I wonder if that'll autocorrect. Good. It's ugly. Oh, it's still not technically... Oh, because it's no landing available because of that, maybe? <clears throat> we'll see. Is there another uh, power breaker to offset some of that power? Oh, I should put like a transformer somewhere, right? Where should I put it? Well, let's get this, let's get this tube done. We, we just turned off things that we didn't necessarily need, so... Starvation. Taking a shit. Uh, body temperature. Cold, hot. Hot! We actually have quite a lot of heat in here. <clears throat> I mean, our system to distribute uh, gases is really shit, but... Uh, I am a little surprised. What is this temperature? 39 degrees. What if I should... Just... Connect a couple here. This vent, the ventilation system needs so much work. Our HVAC is just, it's just, it's jank. Like, we're, we're seriously doing like this, just like attaching things at random. Just to keep this thing, uh, just to keep certain areas from overheating. Thankfully, we're not going to run out of food anytime soon. We still have plenty of dirt and we have water. So we're good. There's the water right there. Put your pump. Uh, polluted water. Okay, well, maybe we should make another of those for regular water, but... Why well, do we have bottled water somewhere, actually? We have a bottle or a liquid bottle, I think. Somewhere. I don't know. Are they making sodas yet? Yeah, well, look at that. It's a whole strip of warm air right across here. Oh, these fucking lights. You know what? Fuck these lights. Just get rid of them. They're just me. Oh, fuck. Okay, both of them. This whole thing needs to be t taken down. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll start that, actually. Let's start that. It's just not a good setup. Well, I'm not pleased with it, anyways. Hold on. What'd you say? VR Humble Bundle out? Oh, really? I might have to uh, check that out. Is that unreachable? No, it's not. Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, we're even pumping, pumping gas to it. Like, we don't need that. Okay, they'll just get to that when they get to it. But yeah, those lights are putting out heat. We don't need that either. Nice little layer of oxygen, but also, or hydrogen, but unfortunately, we also coated this entire place in tons of oxygen. We just have too much oxygen, man. We just have too much oxygen. It's a problem. It's a serious problem. And we have this pipe up here. Oh my god. This pipe up here is going to be a bitch. <sighs> I was getting so comfortable and things are going so well and I feel like this, eh, we're running small issues here and there. Super hot. VR, I got that. Uh, Gorn, budget cuts. Space Pirate Train, I got that. Uh, I think I have Cosmic Trip and I think I have... I know I have budget cuts. Um, I don't have Moss or Gorn. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> this, this part did not work yet. Let's do buildings, and then let's do this. Okay, and we'll see if it ends up connecting like it's supposed to. Just try to do. Gorn will make you smash something in real life on accident? <laughs> Noted. Alright, they're all, they're all about to eat. Enjoy the rest of their night. Let's go and do this. I still worry about this not being connected. Like, I wonder if this is just a matter of just dragging it over, maybe? Dragging over it? Ah, okay. It sure is. Can't you turn Hmm. I wonder if that's not gonna... Well, we'll see what it does. If they end up connecting or not. Or 
All right, so natural gas is full. Tons of resources. Holy crap. How much metal do we have? I wonder if I should want a conveyor system from down here. Because I mean, there's a lot of areas we could strip mine here. Like all of this. All of this. This is, what, what is this? Granite. Tons of granite. We could go ahead and core this whole place. Open it up. Wonder if... Well, how much room do we have in here? Well, I mean, it's not bad, actually. Considering how much... How many cycle of the stuff we have. It's all this mess. Let me see if we can't... Put a bottle emptier here. And this will just be for, uh... <clears throat> that'll just be for oil. Drop all that oil back into the system. So I'm gonna cut all that. Uh, conveyor system. Can the conveyor overlap the... Uh... Let me see. Shipping. Conveyor rail. Will that go up here? Oh, it does! Hmm, okay. So maybe... You could start uh, using AATN to condense O2 into liquid O2. So I just pipe in... I guess I could put what drains underneath and pipe in... Just water? And just let it freeze? Like, just have like a slow trickle of water? Or, sorry, uh, of, uh, oxygen? I guess I could do that. I've never, I've never... I don't think I've converted a gas into a liquid at all in this game, unless it was on accident. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have. Hmm. Well, let me, let me take care of the, the shipping part here. Let me see how much, how much I can afford to lay here. Not a lot. Copper ore, aluminum ore, iron ore. Why did I just kind of, I just... Oh, I guess I can't make out anything. I think we should... Tackle this problem first. Get this copper ore out. And... Let it just vent into space. Let's start with... Cutting out some of this. Go to like here. What is this up here? Obsidian. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's take all this too. I want that. I want those resources. Not that one's fine. I can stay. But yeah, uh, I'm thinking we 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 do need. I, mean, I can make I can make those rails out of copper, right? Yeah, so I think we should get this copper volcano going and find some way to cool it. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. And then turn around and use it to make conveyors to move all over, move product all over the place. Because right now, like, we don't have, yeah, we don't have shit going on for uh, product movement outside of that tiny little strip. Let me see. Crude oil. There you go. Cool. Putting those all ready to go. 